This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 20 of Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning on the Xbox Series X We are exactly where we were people at the end of the last part And we have a quest highlighted And we're going to crack straight into it once I pick up these couple of shinies that are kicking around here Sure, why not? <laughs> Marvellous. Oh yeah, we're using a staff at the moment, aren't we? Well, we were. Yeah, shillelagh. Uh, 72 damage on it. But yeah, that 72 is physical though, isn't it? 34, that's 60... No, it's not actually. That is the fire damage, I think. Because that's 72, isn't it? 38, 34... Although it doesn't account for the plus five percent fire damage, and it's got a socket in it as well, maybe we should try to put a weapon gem in it before we go any further. Just see what we can crack into that with. We are, however, going to head to the Forsaken Plain, and we will do once we have a quick bounce over here. Did we store any weapon gems, people? That is the question. <laughs> nope, is the answer. Twelve piercing on two cloudy protections. Four piercing on a cloudy and a... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, what? Uh, sorry, yeah. But two two protections uh, give us twelve. And a, a, a protection and a, a physical gives us uh, four. Nine physical damage. I wonder if we can get, yeah, ice. Four ice damage, two freezing damage over two seconds. Might be worth it. Freeze them up a bit while we're fighting them. Still don't think we can do, smelt them together. Nah, strength and shards. Unlock. At, uh, unlocks at Sagecraft level 3. Alright, so we need to put a few points in there. Let's go for uh, let's go for the ice. Hang on. Got to socket them here as well, haven't we? Aye. Excellent. Yeah, you see a bit of blue, bit of blue coming off of it now as well. I don't know if fire negates ice though. I don't think it does in this game. Twenty-three of ninety on the yeah. Do you know? I'm now looking back, thinking I didn't actually pick up what was in that chest that I opened in the other area. But never mind. <laughs> right, we're going to teleport to the closest place to this, which is Aiton, I think. Or well, Helmgard Keep. Possibly we might be able to run through there. I've not even touched this Detir area yet. So much to do. What's that quest marker there then? Kill the kobolds. 
All right. Well, it'd be rude not to while we're here, I suppose, if we can manage to get down there, that is. Whoa! Uh, rot claw is the next one. <laughs> Must have been a little uh, shiny splash on the water that I couldn't see because it was so near the edge. I suspect that that circle is the other one, is it? Yeah, kill the kobolds. It is indeed. Come on then, let's leg it, see if we can get that. Bit of discovery while we're on with it. Check for stones while we're running around, eh? We'd have not to. Wolves. Oh, they're coming up for me, I think. Oh, <laughs> the big badger is, anyway. Ow. Bloody wolf guy is dead. Ooh. Shock and awe. Killed a hundred enemies with abilities. Nice. Ten G's to Ching. Oh, hello. Hmm, we've got we're getting a lot from our disciple sandals we've put on though, aren't we? Hmm, don't think we're gonna wear those. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, I forgot about the boots we picked up actually. Sexy. Not much in the way of armour, but... Ooh, look what I've just spotted. Oh, didn't like that, did you? Hey, no. Found ourselves a stone. As the seasons worn each year, the time to build is followed by a time for ruin. Two sons of the mortal king were left with taller rain betwixt them, but Bell neither this. held his share complete. And as these mortals built their kingdom, so too they had destroyed it all with war and jealousies. Ow. That was just rude. Not learn yet. Goddamn shadow prisons that I never use. Holy fuck, they all come from. Nice one to line up for me though. I 
Well, that's starting to get a bit more tempting with a couple of sockets. Oh, they're for there, Steve. Ben. Frost hammer. Why don't you call my name? I'm not overly... There's no, de there's no detriment, is there, to just switching the weapons up? I always think, ah, I'm not a heavy, you know, this, that, or the next thing fighter. But it will be slower, but get a hell of a lot of damage in it. You've got ice damage in that as well. Although, yeah, there is a detriment, Steve. You're talking nonsense because it's in your skill tree, isn't it? In your, your your whatever it's called, skill tree, you can buy the uh, the point, put the points into the you know better better knife abilities, better staff abilities, and so on. So yeah, not much point at the moment. Ooh, we've got a quest up here. And a stone. Stranger, please. I'm being hunted by Fair Gorta. The bones of all my forebears mean to kill me. Fatir. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Skate. Your ancestors are Fair Gorta? They are the bones of all my fallen family. I am of an ancient line. And the curse it bears is almost as old. When a scathe dies, the magic of the curse raises his bones and forces them to hunt its descendants. Nothing of its life remains. Just a hunger for scathe blood. They will not stop until the line is dead. And I fear I am the last. But this curse need not end with my death. If you are willing to help me. Oh, go on then. What do you need? I must exile myself from my family. In ancient Alfar tradition, members of the family or clan could be banished forever with the proper ceremony. This stronghold was my family's seat. It contains a solemn bell, the Codex Scathe, and my birth candle. All components for the ritual of banishment I must complete. We should begin. Meet me in Dove Whale, and we shall get underway. Very well. Be quick. Bell, book, and candle. It was quite something, the amount of bloody quests they gave you in this game. I mean, alright, they weren't all super interesting or anything, but they were... Uh, there were a lot of them. Some of them are very good, though, interest-wise. Right. Well, I guess he wants me to go into this big building, does he? I'm how close am I to this other one to get that finished off? It's not too far away. Let's come back to him in a second. Well, it might be if it's way up at the top of that cliff, though. Because me nuts knows how to get up there. No, we don't. Oh, hello. What are you lot saying, then? When did this start? I thought we got rid of that one. I think that's a different it's a different thing. I think it's just killed lots of different types of enemy. Wow. Now there better be something decent in these chests, people, or I'm gonna be very annoyed. Oh hello.
Really? That'll do nicely. Oh, I've lost my bearings now. <clears throat> Nearly got there. Really? Ooh, that's a cowl as well. Hmm. <laughs> it's part of a set, but there's not, not great armor on it. However, it does have plus 10% fire damage, plus 10% ice damage, plus 10% lightning damage, <clears throat> and plus 15% mana regen per second. So we would lose the health regen, but we would gain a lot of power and it would lose a bit of protection as well. However, if we find the whole set of that, look, plus two to sorcery abilities, plus two mana regen per second, plus 25% physical resistance, which is bringing the uh, armor back. It's good. Looks like a good set to have that, actually. So we'll take that. I don't think we should put it on straight away, though, because... Hmm. It's the health regen that's my biggest annoyance of it. Decent bow, that. A couple of sockets in it. Seriously? Well, who's got the proper key? Tell me that and tell me no more. I want to see what my nice shiny hat looks like, though. Yeah, it kind of looks like the one we've got on, <laughs> to be fair. Different colour, I think. Yeah. It's a decent amount of extra damage, though, especially on fire and ice. And lightning. Do we take the hit and armor? Take the damage? Oh, it's the regen, isn't it? That I was more worried about. I, I don't think we've got health regen on anywhere else. Well, just the talisman. Gold Talisman Shield. One health per second. It's a bit frustrating. So we could do with leaving that on until we get some piece of armor where we can put the regen back on. Right, the question B, how do we get up to the... Well, it looks like there's a path as it happens. Oh, hello. <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm getting hammered here. Oh. 
a lot of resist going on with my... Yeah, that ice moves the badger. Now, really? This guy's riding me right up. Fucking get dead. Fucking hell, that was a fight. That's where you feel the lack of armour when you're getting attacked by big feckers like that or four all at once. You can actually hit them from afar, can't you, with this, rather than have to be right next to them. <gasps> oh, bastard. <laughs> They're just nowhere near as good as the ones that I've... I think... Did I make those? No, I think I bought them, didn't I? Hey, Right, we did find a path, as it happens. I also feel like, a little bit, that I found another stone and didn't go to it because I bumped into that guy. Yeah, there seems to be a wee path or something. Bloody hellfire, I'd never have seen that. Look at that. Why is my big move not working? a bit weird because I seem to have a full bar but Niam's labours speak to Niam the castles and hills. The servants of the Asta clan divided the remains between them. They called themselves Ratifer, Kents and Skates. Kents. They hid their rocks and metal under their castles and called them home. They hoarded treasures and watched the seasons wear their stone walls and their wills. Mm, okay. I think the pile of rubble there was the chest. Oh, 
Yeah, maybe I did get it. Maybe I'm just being a bit... Forgetful. Yeah, I did. There it's there. Who's this guy? That's ah, Nihan. So his quest was right here. Good riddance to the kobolds. Now on to more fierce fare. Many a beast still needs to be slain. And there is one such beast, a Cruddock, that awaits you outside of Corgan Hold. Oh really? Well, right, okay. Perhaps we shall speak later. Have you had any luck with the work? The coin will be worth it, I assure you. I have given him the name Smiler. Not that he has the intellect to understand what it means. Smiler lurks near the entrance to Corgan Hold. Killing him will take a bit of ferreting. And be careful, he knows these ruins well. So what quest is this? Is it still the same? Perhaps we shall speak late. Must be a task there, surely. Yeah, I've done Neham's labours, so that, that was completed, so he must have given me another one. Well, that's Corgan Hold. That's Kill Smiler, yeah. <laughs> Keep getting bloody diverted to other things. Son of a fucker. Come the right way, ever. Let's yeah. check what's around us here. Oh, we've pretty much doubled back from where we were, haven't we? Because there's the stone we got. He's lurking in a cave, the dirty swine. Oh, hello. Fucking hell, there he is. Well, that'll do. Didn't like fire. <laughs> Gotta find fucking knee ham again now. There he is. Let 
Mind you, our actual gold circle is this way. Yeah, quite far away though. Can teleport back to here though. Oh, we can go in Corgan Hold. Hmm. Have we done something in here before? Getting pretty nifty with this uh, stuff, you know. Hear them crackling and burning all at the same time. Not far from level 17, people. Christ almighty, I didn't, I didn't think this place was going to be this big. There's a few down there I've not killed either, so we're going to kill them first. I want to go the wrong way first, is what we want to do, isn't it? Make a note where we are, Corgon Holrood. Well, that looks ominous. Maybe not. Nazarite Plum. Combine this item with... Yeah, it's a core component. I 
I think it could be pronounced plume, maybe, I don't know. Ooh, I say, shiny. Seriously, a gigantic chest with one healing potion in it. Come on now. You can do better than that. <laughs> or maybe not. The scallywag's got something. This corpse contains a note titled Retrieving the Aster Inheritance. So it's going to trigger something. That was just to do with the guy that we'd spoken to that needed our help with not being part of his family anymore. Now it's a new quest. The Aster Inheritance. Very good. I'm going to do that one last, I think. Plus one to finesse abilities. Higher damage on that staff. And it's a lightning staff. Might be worth hanging on to a secondary staff right enough. Just so we're not just tied to fire and ice. That's completely opposite, isn't it? Well, not opposite, but you know what I mean. Lightning. An ancient relic of Lyria. And I can only take it. I can't junk it or anything. Lyria lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. It's a task, isn't it? You just find the relics and bring them back to. It's just somebody in Rathir, I think, if I remember rightly. Ugh. <laughs> of course, it's only going to be opened by the proper key. I just feel like we're definitely going to be coming back in here with this guy that we've met, or someone else, anyway. I mean, how awesome is that fire move on people like that? Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Seriously, nothing in here at all. Nothing at all. Oh, blimey. Ask me if I know where I've been and where I haven't been now. <coughs> well, that's where we came in. <clears throat> oh, actually, I think we've seen all of it now, unless there's something there. But I don't think so. Like we got to the end of it. Mm, yeah, there's a big door down there. I don't remember going into that. Hello.
Where's your mate gone? <laughs> there he is. Worth it for the XP, I suppose. Come on now, you know you want that level up. Yeah, surely that's just taking us back to where we've already been, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Because I've either ran past some chests unwittingly, or I've just discovered some new ones. Plus one health regen per second, one plus one mana regen. Might take that actually because if we do want to put something else on, it will give us some health regen back that we'd lose from replacing the helm. I can't even remember why I came in here. It was just curiosity, wasn't it? Right, what were we doing before? We were going to go back and see Neham, whatever his name is. Yeah. Find the Solemn Bell. Ah, that was the other guy. Yeah, we're going in a different place with him. Find the Astar Amulets. Oh, okay. He's just sitting there doing nothing while I do all the work. Ah, Smiler has fallen. I would raise a glass to the creature's demise, but raising one too many glasses is one reason I was reassigned here to Talarain. Well, you have done your share by ridding the world of him, but there are still beasts that need to be slain. And this particular beast, mm. Colmere, will not be as easy to kill as the others. Okay, who is Colmere? Colmere is an Etin, a war priest who has made camp in Talarain. The Etin are not very intelligent creatures, but they compensate this with their strength. Well, perhaps we shall speak later. Hmm, it's not quite showing me what, uh... So it looks like we've got. All oh, right, okay. It's just Neham. It's just Neham's labors all the time, isn't it? So kill Colmy is the next one. <clears throat> Wherever the bloody hell he is.
There he is. Might as well get, get this done, eh? Getting good XP for it and discovering bits of the area as well while we're on with it, which is good. Level up and ride your pony! <laughs> What's our inventory like? Still got 30 sockets left. Right, should we have a bit of a level up, people? Let's see what we got. Let's have a little save, shall we? Only one away from having no to know what all the law stones are on the map. And then we can just head and get them and get all these extra bonuses. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Although I'm getting super interested in getting the bloody sagecraft up as well, but anyway, we'll get there. I think without any doubt we want to get these these first. So one in here. And then one, two, three, four. We might find some trainers as well, to be fair. All right, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Right, we can't go any higher up with the ice. And we can't as yet do any more with the lightning. But we can do some more of this. Your mastery over the power of fire allows you to increase the effectiveness of all burning effects as well as the damage done by Mark of Flame. All burning damage increased by 20%, Mark of Flame damage by 10%. And so on and so forth until it keeps going up. Sphere of protection. Hmm. It's just the problem with not enough sockets, isn't it, really? Well, not enough places to put quick moves is the problem. I've got three up, but I've got four on that I want. However, let's just have a look at the staff stuffs. Unlock special attack from block for the staff and scepter. Reduce scepter costs to 4% of your maximum mana. Instead of 5%. Mage's vortex attack while blocking with the staff to draw all enemies in front of you to central location. Oh, right. How does this work? And... Warding Blast. Attack while blocking with the Scepter to send a, a launching projectile towards your target. Ah, right. That's the Scepter. What am I using then? Am I using a Scepter or a Staff? I'm getting confused. Right, okay. I'll have to sort that out. I've, I've got a feeling I might be using a Scepter. <laughs> I'll have to have a look. But Mage, right. So Mage's Vortex you get while you're using the Staff. And Warding Blast is when you're using the Scepter. I think I prefer the idea of Mage's Vortex to draw everything be before us. Because that might actually negate the need for... Yeah, I quite like Grapple Look, though. Anyway. Yeah, that's the charge one that I can do. Delayed special attacks for the staff and the Chakrams. Right, okay. Right, let's get the we'll get the fire first. Four of five. I mean that's just increased all burning damage by eighty percent and mark of flame damage by forty percent. That's insane. That's gonna be well, it's gonna be as good as the ice one just about. Got one more point on it. Oh, I like it, people, I like it a lot. And that puts us on 44, which means another six points. We'll be able to move up to this level here. 
elemental rage combine the mystic elements of fire, lightning and ice into a devastating chain of attacks. Attack 1, lightning pulses, pulls enemies towards you causing 90 damage in the area. Fucking hell. We'll have a look into some of that stuff when we get there. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm more interested in getting up to 70 here and getting this lot. Winter's Embrace, Meteor and Sphere of Retribution. Confirm it, Stephen. I'm still stuck on this fucking thing because I don't want Blink. The only way I'm going to get around that is by putting points in other places, people. In the rogues and stuffs. Look at that. We'll be get, we could be getting so many perks from that. But there's no way of stopping bloody blink happening. Unless there is, and I just don't know what it is, but I've never come across it. I'm pretty sure all the ones you can use are, are highlighted up here. Yeah, they're 76 ones. But every, every single mage orientated one has got blink on it. When you go higher up. And I'm missing out on all of it. I mean, it's it's insane. When you're using magic, you just don't want to be... Plus 50% elemental damage. 25% mana cost reduction. Plus 3 mana regen per second. Plus 25% duration of all duration-based spells. Ice Blink 3. Short range teleport with ice effect. Do replaces dodge. I mean, I can actually change this anytime I like, can't I? So I could maybe try dodge again, but I, I was finding it really difficult to do. I mean, at the moment, it's only an extra 5% and blink. Well, plus one to mana regen, so it's not really that worth it. But it is when you get higher up. I mean, if I could just get used to using it. But I just find that it's a little bit more... Let's see how we go on with it. Dolve Whale. That's where the guy wanted us to meet him, wasn't it? At least we could teleport there now. Yeah, you need to go inside and it should trigger that quest. Right, we're heading to the big X, Steve. Big X. Oh my gold, not these guys again. Let's see what the fire does to them this time. Ooh, what the shit in hell. Look at the power of that fecking thing now. Yeah, this is it. I thought I'd killed this guy before, now he's back again. Oh, 
Holy shit. I can't believe how powerful that fire move is now. Holy shit. Speak to Neham. Fey blades of hemorrhaging. I bet they had bleed on them. And we've already got all the stuff around here. Oh, hello. Oh, no, I've not got the key, have I? Unless I got it off him. No. Or Nihau might give us it, maybe, I don't know. Can we teleport closer to Nihau or not? Mm, not so much. Sprint. Yeah, I mean, I, I would argue that when you've activated the Neham quest line, that if you end up there and you kill it, you get the option to kill it. When he says, I need it killed, you say, oh, I've already killed it. And I'm sure some of the other quests do that. So I don't know why this one doesn't. Because it's a bit of a run backwards and forwards, isn't it, that you don't need. Because I'm sure that we fought him. Because he came in and when we tried to open the chest, if you remember... Or a similar two-headed gent. You have slain Smiler and Colmere, both formidable enemies to be certain, yet mindless things, easily outwitted. The real challenges are these Jotun. Uh huh. What else has to be done? There is a Jotun, a chieftain not far from here. Malgar is his name. Talarain must be rid of him. Be cautious. They may appear brutish, but the Jotun are much more intelligent than the other creatures you may have seen in Talarain. Okay. Malgar. Yeah, they're all kind of kicking around him, though, aren't they? I mean, it's not too far from him, all these fights, but even still. Well, you got a fancy he's up there. go this way. I feel like this was the way up. Or maybe not. Yeah, we've been here before. This is the War Swarm Vault, yeah. Right, well, how does one get up there, people? It's a mystery and no mistake. Unless it is the right way and you just have to go a long way around. I feel like I'm actually leaving this area if I do that.
Yeah, going up into here. We've done a big loopity loop. <laughs> Increases mana pool for a limited time. Oh, I know where I am. Coming back into the big mountain place, are we? Oh, hello. There's a bloody stone at the top of that, though. Getting followed. I mean, it's using hardly any mana either, that uh, that move, and it's destroying stuff. down from our high hill and feel the last warm touch of the sun on our backs, we wonder, is this the end of our endless day? What hope have we in these changing seasons when winter comes and does not abate? We watch, cold and dying, at what may be our final sunset. Oh yeah, forgot about me old uh, blink. Wonder what was happening. Yeah, there's a quest here to ring these things, and I can't remember if we did it in the original eight parts that I did, or whether of still to activate it. This circle of windstones hums with energy. Do you wish to accept the blessing of Arithel? Yeah, I feel like we got that because we've done it. Really? <laughs> Does it every time you come in? Meanwhile, all back in where I should be doing. This spot is Quest marker over here as well. Ah, oh, it's the well, isn't it? I realize I'm way off track here, people. Well, hello, Lyrius Cal. Mm. 
which is not really as good as what we've got on or want to put on. Nevertheless, we shall keep all of the set items. Ooh. Oh, it's might. Brimstone barrier. Rond Farm. Alret, Alret. No, no, please help, stranger. Madness from the river tainted the grain. Eating grain breeds sickness in the mind. We need help. <clears throat> what happened? The river. Something in the water grows into the grain. Oh, the grain's meant to be ah, shipped to Mel Sheer. But can't spread madness. Cronaut. Go to Cronaut. Strange man. Jenica. Travelled there. Must have done something. Poison river with madness. Aiton. No help. If grain reaches troops. Gah. End up like Denry. Caged. Murderous. Sure. Jenica. Tainted water. Granolt. Hurry. The waters of madness. Okie dokie. Right, we're not going to trigger that just yet. There's a chest or treasure up here, though. Right, so in the next part, I think we shall get ourselves back to killing Malrag, or whatever his name was. Let's get ourselves into the area again, eh? So we still need to find our way up to... <laughs> Feeling pretty uber at the moment, it has to be said. Still have to find our way up to the top of these blooming mountains, people. Definitely wasn't that way, anyway. Ooh, over the hour mark, people. Over the hour mark. Here we go. I knew it was going to go the wrong way. <laughs> I 
Well, that went well. Speak to Niam. Do I have anything? Oh, yeah, chest. God damn it. Really? <laughs> I've already opened it. Must have killed these guys some time be before now. Alright. Once again, just let me say, already killed them. Yeah, because there was not a little dwarf that lived down here. Yeah, there was. Look. Yeah, because we've already done a quest for him. Right, where's Neham? There he is. Is that the last one, or are we going to have more? What we think him? Complete! With Malgar out of the way, all that is left to remove from Talarain are the dregs. That should only take a few... years. Hmm. Well, so be it. Take the money you have earned. Very well. Good doing business with you, Neham. Right, well, that's an ideal place to wrap things up and start the next part, me thinks. So, let's have a look. I think we're still highlighted on Rest from Peace, but what was the guy that was kicking around here? Mm. I feel like when I see it, I'll know it. <laughs> Unless it's a proper... No, it's not a faction quest. That one. Bell Book and Candle. I think we'll do that next. Because we're right next to it. There, in fact. Well, there you are, folks. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Little session. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Kingdoms of Amalur. Re-reckoning. And I shall catch you in the next one, people. Take it easy. Bye.